Hello, my friends. God bless you all. I would like once again to share with you images of the Sea of Galilee. Because these images gives us an imagination of what happened in the times of Jesus. And it's worthwhile seeing, watching, because these images were the same which Jesus saw in those days. So you can see here the Sea of Galilee, the bigger view of it. You are seeing the mountains which are on the left side, while on this side which you're watching right now, you're seeing Jordan, a part of Jordan. And after the mountain, you will see Syria. Meaning, on the other side, we have the enemies of Israel. But for God, there is no adversary in regards to a nation, race, color, language, gender, none of that. For God, what He sees in us are souls. So much so the souls from that side or this side, the Sea of Galilee, leads to salvation which Jesus brought to us. And it's something interesting to speak about, the soul. In fact, the Bible, God Himself says, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. The Lord is saying that the human soul is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. So when a person did not receive the Holy Spirit, when a person does not have the Spirit of God, their heart is deceitful, their soul is deceitful. So everything they do is wrong. Why? Because he does not go according to the voice of the Spirit, the Spirit of God. He does according to the will of the heart, including Josie is here. She's going to explain because she is a resident here and she will explain what does the soul mean which the Bible shows to us, the soul. There is a biblical verse which mentions that the soul is a persecutor of the will. It wants to satisfy its will at any cost, at any consequence. And Josie will explain, since she is the wife of Gustavo, the mother of Gabi, which you saw. Please, Josie, explain to everyone what you explained to me about the soul. Exactly this verse which you mentioned, the heart is deceitful, but in Hebrew it says ukev alev, meaning ukev is the same word as pursue. Ukev alev mikor, meaning the heart leads us to pursue everything that it wants, its desire. It's as if it takes us to pursue in this manner everything at once. That's why we have this conflict in the soul. What does our heart want? All our desires is the heart, which leads us to pursue its will, meaning the heart pursues what the heart wants and conflicts 
the spirit, which is what God wants when a person wants to do the will of God, wants to follow God's righteousness. So the head, which is the spirit, wants the right thing, the right thing, but the soul wants to pursue, wants to reach its objective. It doesn't matter the price which it costs. Meaning, this conflict we carry from our birth. From our birth. So when you see conflicts in families, conflicts of interest, sentimental conflicts, when you see people in doubt to marry or not, to buy or not buy, to sell or not sell, if a person takes this decision, so that person is in a disgraceful doubt, this is the word. Why? Because their spirit says one thing and the heart once pursues, is anxious for something else. And the heart, as God says, is deceitful. That is why people lose themselves. The spirit, which is intelligence, when a person dies, the spirit, this intelligence, returns to God. The body remains on earth. But what about the soul? Jesus came to save what? He came to save the soul. He came to save your soul, my soul, our soul. And is precious and is valuable and as great the soul is. You can imagine, just to think a bit, we're having this view of the Sea of Galilee and people say, oh, if I could be there. I'd like to set foot in this place. Many people say this. Oh, if I could go to Israel, you can be sure that one day, who knows, you'll be here as well. But Jesus said, what profit is it to gain the whole world to have the Galilee at your feet, the whole world at your feet, the whole of Judah, Samaria, and Israel, and the whole world, Europe, America, everything, everything at your feet. What profit is it to gain everything which your eyes see, but to lose the soul? That being which sees with the eye, which is the soul. So we're saying here, our soul our souls are exchanging ideas with our mouths, of course. So our soul is using our body. But when the body, when the soul come out of the body, the body dies. The soul come out of the body, then the body has no use and it returns to dust. But what about the soul? Where does it go? Your soul, where is it going? Think well, my friend. You have depression, for example. You have a strong problem with depression. Then I ask, what is depression? Depression is the pain which you feel in your soul. It's that emptiness, that huge hole which is inside your soul. Your soul is anxious, is anxious to see things, reach things, enjoy itself, to drown your anxieties. It's the heart pursuing what it wants. The heart is pushing, pushing to pursue, to pursue, to pursue what it wants. That's what we explained, Bishop. And Gustavo, as a player, how many times did he pursue fame, cars, glory, everything which the heart wanted to pursue, to pursue, to pursue? Without knowing, we make that the objective of our life. It becomes our God. It's our treasure. And it reached the point where we had everything and there's no much to pursue. And you say, my God, what madness. And the madness to leave all of this to make Jesus our inheritance. And the parable which Jesus speaks of about the fool. He conquered everything. And he said to his soul, the soul said to himself, soul, 
you have much treasure laid out. Rest. What did he say to the soul? Rest, which is peace, or take ease. Eat, which is one of the best things in life is for you to eat. Eat, drink, and be merry. But this night, your soul be required of you. And what have you prepared? What will happen? This is the biggest worry, I believe, with God towards you. He wants to save your soul. If you are anguished, anxious, filled with doubts, depressed, there where you are, surrender your soul to Jesus. Oh, Jesus, I'm tired of it. I surrender it in your hands. Then, then things will be put in their place and you will start a new life. Peace will, depend, will descend upon you exactly in this moment once you surrender to the Lord Jesus who is together with you waiting for the chance to enter inside of you and to make you have a new heart, a new soul, a new life. God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Till tomorrow.